A lithium ion battery or Li ion battery abbreviated as Lib is a type of rechargeable battery. Lithium ion batteries are commonly used for portable electronics and electric vehicles and are growing in popularity for military and aerospace applications. Important advances in the field were made by John Goodenough, Robert Huggins, Stanley Whittingham, Rakid Yazami and Akira Yoshino starting in the 1970s and building into the 1980s, that allowed for advances in understanding that lead to commercialization by Sony and Asahi Kasi in 1991. In the batteries lithium ions move from the negative electrode through an electrolyte to the positive electrode during discharge, and back when charging. Li-ion batteries use an intercalated lithium compound as the material at the positive electrode and typically graphite at the negative electrode. The batteries have a high energy density, no memory effect other than LFP cells and low self-discharge. They can however be a safety hazard since they contain a flammable electrolyte, and if damaged or incorrectly charged can lead to explosions and fires. Samsung were forced to recall Galaxy Note 7 handsets following lithium-ion fires, and there have been several incidents involving batteries on Boeing 787s. Chemistry, performance, cost and safety characteristics vary across lib types. Handheld electronics mostly use lithium polymer batteries with a polymer gel as electrolyte with lithium cobalt oxide as cathode material, which offers high energy density but presents safety risks, especially when damaged. Lithium iron phosphate LifePO4, lithium ion manganese oxide battery Lim204, Li2 manganese 6 oxide or LMO and lithium nickel manganese cobalt oxide Linen 2 or NMC offer lower energy density but longer lives and less likelihood of fire or explosion. Such batteries are widely used for electric tools, medical equipment and other roles. NMC in particular is a leading contender for automotive applications. Research areas for lithium-ion batteries include life extension, energy density, safety, cost reduction, and charging speed, among others. Research has been underway in the area of non-flammable electrolytes as a pathway to increased safety based on the flammability and volatility of the organic solvents used in the typical electrolyte. Strategies include aqueous lithium-ion batteries, ceramic solid electrolytes, polymer electrolytes, ionic liquids, and heavily fluorinated systems. Topic. Terminology Topic. Battery versus cell A cell is a basic electrochemical unit that contains the electrodes, separator, and electrolyte. A battery or battery pack is a collection of cells or cell assemblies, with housing, electrical connections, and possibly electronics for control and protection. Topic. Anode and cathode electrodes For rechargeable cells, the term cathode or positive electrode designates the electrode where reduction is taking place during the discharge cycle. The other electrode is the anode or negative electrode. For lithium ion cells, the cathode is the lithium-based one. Topic: History. Topic. Background Lithium batteries were proposed by British chemist M. Stanley Whittingham, now at Binghamton University, while working for Exxon in the 1970s. Whittingham used titanium IV sulfide and lithium metal as the electrodes. However, this rechargeable lithium battery could never be made practical. Titanium disulfide was a poor choice, since it has to be synthesized under completely sealed conditions, also being quite expensive tilde dollar 1000 per kilograms for titanium disulfide raw material in 1970s. When exposed to air, titanium disulfide reacts to form hydrogen sulfide compounds, which have an unpleasant odor and are toxic to most animals. 
For this, and other reasons, Exxon discontinued development of Whittingham's lithium-titanium disulfide battery. Batteries with metallic lithium electrodes presented safety issues, as lithium is a highly reactive element, it ignites when exposed to water with formation of lithium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Under normal conditions it is a shiny metal that is passivated by lithium hydroxide, lithium carbonate, or lithium oxide and degrades in contact with both humid and dry air. As a result, research moved to develop batteries in which, instead of metallic lithium, only lithium compounds are present, being capable of accepting and releasing lithium ions. Reversible intercalation in graphite and intercalation into cathodic oxides was discovered during 1974–76 by J. O. Bessenhard at TU Munich. Bessenhard proposed its application in lithium cells. Electrolyte decomposition and solvent co-intercalation into graphite were severe early drawbacks for battery life. It has been argued that lithium will be one of the main objects of geopolitical competition in a world running on renewable energy and dependent on batteries, but this perspective has also been criticized for underestimating the power of economic incentives for expanded production. Topic. Invention and development 1973 – Adam Heller proposed the lithium thionyl chloride battery, still used in implanted medical devices and in defense systems where a greater than 20-year shelf life, high energy density, and or tolerance for extreme operating temperatures are required. 1977 – Samar Basu demonstrated electrochemical intercalation of lithium in graphite at the University of Pennsylvania. This led to the development of a workable lithium intercalated graphite electrode at Bell Labs LIC6 to provide an alternative to the lithium metal electrode battery. 1979 Working in separate groups, Ned A. Godshull et al., and shortly thereafter by John Goodenough and Koichi Mizushima, both teams demonstrated a rechargeable lithium cell with voltage in the 4 volts range using lithium cobalt dioxide as the positive electrode and lithium metal as the negative electrode. This innovation provided the positive electrode material that enabled early commercial lithium batteries. LIKU-2 is a stable positive electrode material which acts as a donor of lithium ions, which means that it can be used with a negative electrode material other than lithium metal. By enabling the use of stable and easy-to-handle negative electrode materials, LIKU-2 enabled novel rechargeable battery systems. Godshull et al. further identified the similar value of ternary compound lithium transition metal oxides such as the spinel lim 204 Li-2 manganese 6 oxide, Limno-2, Lifo-2, Life-508, and Life-504 and later lithium copper oxide and lithium nickel oxide cathode materials in 1985. 1980 Rakid Yazami demonstrated the reversible electrochemical intercalation of lithium in graphite. The organic electrolytes available at the time would decompose during charging with a graphite negative electrode. Yazami used a solid electrolyte to demonstrate that lithium could be reversibly intercalated in graphite through an electrochemical mechanism. As of 2011, Yazami's graphite electrode was the most commonly used electrode in commercial Lion batteries. The negative electrode has its origins in PA polyacenic semiconductive material discovered by Tokyo Yamabe and later by Shikuni Yada in the early 1980s. The seed of this technology was the discovery of conductive polymers by Professor Hideki Shirakawa and his group, and it could also be seen as having started from the polyacetylene lithium-ion battery developed by Alan McDermott and Alan J. Heger et al. 1982 Godshull et al. were awarded U.S. Patent 4,340,652 for the use of LIKU-2 as cathodes in lithium batteries, based on Godshall's Stanford University Ph.D. dissertation and 1979 publications. 1983 Michael M. Thackeray, Peter Bruce, William David, and John B. Goodenough developed a manganese spinel as a commercially relevant charged cathode material for lithium-ion batteries. 
1985 Akira Yoshino assembled a prototype cell using carbonaceous material into which lithium ions could be inserted as one electrode, and lithium cobalt oxide as the other. This dramatically improved safety. LIKU-2 enabled industrial-scale production and enabled the commercial lithium-ion battery. 1989 Goodenough and Aramugam Mantheorem showed that positive electrodes containing polyanions, e.g., sulfates, produce higher voltages than oxides due to the induction effect of the polyanion. 1996 Akshaya Padi, K. S. Nanjundawami and Goodenough identified LIFEPO4 as a cathode material. 1998 C. S. Johnson, J. T. Vahi, M. M. Thackeray, T. E. Bowfinger, and S. A. Hackney report the discovery of the high-capacity high-voltage lithium-rich NMC cathode materials. 2005 Y. Song, P. Y. Zavalij, and M. Stanley Whittingham report a new 2-electron vanadium phosphate cathode material with high energy density. 2012 John Goodenough, Rakid Yazami and Akira Yoshino received the 2012 IEEE Medal for Environmental and Safety Technologies for developing the lithium-ion battery. 2016 Zi Chi, and Gary Koenig reported a scalable method to produce sub-micrometer-sized LIKU-2 using a template-based approach. Topic. Commercial production. The performance and capacity of lithium-ion batteries increased as development progressed. 1991 Sony and Asahi Cassie released the first commercial lithium-ion battery. 1996 Goodenough, Akshaya Padi and co-workers proposed lithium iron phosphate LIFEPO4 and other phosphoolivines lithium metal phosphates with the same structure as mineral olivine as positive electrode materials. 2001 Christopher Johnson, Michael Thackeray, Khalil Amin, and Jacob Kim file a patent for NMC lithium-rich cathodes based on a domain structure. 2001 Zhang Walu and Jeff Dan file a patent for the lithium nickel manganese cobalt oxide NMC class of positive electrode materials, which offers safety and energy density improvements over the widely used lithium cobalt oxide. 2002 Yet Ming Chang and his group at MIT showed a substantial improvement in the performance of lithium batteries by boosting the material's conductivity by doping it with aluminium, niobium and zirconium. The exact mechanism causing the increase became the subject of widespread debate. 2004 Yet Ming Chang again increased performance by utilizing lithium iron phosphate particles of less than 100 nanometers in diameter. This decreased particle density almost 100-fold, increased the positive electrode surface area and improved capacity and performance. Commercialization led to a rapid growth in the market for higher capacity LIBs, as well as a patent infringement battle between Chang and John Goodenough. 2011 Lithium Nickel Manganese Cobalt Oxide NMC, cathodes, developed at Argonne National Laboratory, are manufactured commercially by BASF in Ohio. 2011 lithium ion batteries accounted for 66% of all portable secondary i.e. rechargeable battery sales in Japan. 2014 commercial batteries from Amprius Corp reached 650 watt hours per liter, a 20% increase using a silicon anode and were delivered to customers. The National Academy of Engineering recognized John Goodenough, Yoshio Nishi, Rakid Yazami and Akira Yoshino for their pioneering efforts in the field. As of 2016, global lithium-ion battery production capacity was 28 gigawatt hours with 16.4 gigawatt hours in China. Topic: Market Industry produced about 660 million cylindrical lithium ion cells in 2012. The 18,650 size is by far the most popular for cylindrical cells. 
If Tesla were to have met its goal of shipping 40,000 Model S electric cars in 2014 and if the 85 kWh battery, which uses 7,104 of these cells, proved as popular overseas as it was in the U.S., a 2014 study projected that the Model S alone would use almost 40% of estimated global cylindrical battery production during 2014. As of 2013, production was gradually shifting to higher capacity 3,000 plus Ma cells. Annual flat polymer cell demand was expected to exceed 700 million in 2013. In 2015, cost estimates ranged from $300 minus 500 per kilowatt hours. The average residential energy storage systems installation cost will drop from $1,600 per kilowatt hour in 2015 to $250 per kilowatt hour by 2040, and it is expected to see the price with 70% reduction by 2030 for a Li-ion on storage coupled with photovoltaics and an anaerobic digestion biogas power plant, Li-ion will generate a higher profit if it is cycled more frequently hence a higher lifetime electricity output although the lifetime is reduced due to degradation, in 2016 GM revealed they would be paying US$145 per kWh for the batteries in the Chevy Bolt EV. In 2019, VW noted it was paying US$100 per kWh for its next generation of electric vehicles. Topic. Construction The three primary functional components of a lithium-ion battery are the positive and negative electrodes and electrolyte. Generally, the negative electrode of a conventional lithium-ion cell is made from carbon. The positive electrode is a metal oxide, and the electrolyte is a lithium salt in an organic solvent. The electrochemical roles of the electrodes reverse between anode and cathode, depending on the direction of current flow through the cell. The most commercially popular anode negative electrode is graphite. The positive electrode is generally one of three materials, a layered oxide such as lithium cobalt oxide, a polyanion such as lithium iron phosphate or a spinel such as lithium manganese oxide. Recently, graphene containing electrodes based on 2D and 3D structures of graphene have also been used as components of electrodes for lithium batteries. The electrolyte is typically a mixture of organic carbonates such as ethylene carbonate or diethyl carbonate containing complexes of lithium ions. These non-aqueous electrolytes generally use non-coordinating anion salts such as lithium hexafluorophosphate LIPF6, lithium hexafluorosinate monohydrate LIASF6, lithium perchlorate lithium hypochlorite, lithium tetrafluoroborate LIBF4, and lithium triflate LICF3SO3. Depending on materials choices, the voltage, energy density, life, and safety of a lithium-ion battery can change dramatically. Current effort has been exploring the use of novel architectures using nanotechnology have been employed to improve performance. Areas on interest include nanoscale electrode materials and alternative electrode structures. Pure lithium is highly reactive. It reacts vigorously with water to form lithium hydroxide Leo, and hydrogen gas. Thus, a non-aqueous electrolyte is typically used, and a sealed container rigidly excludes moisture from the battery pack. Lithium-ion batteries are more expensive than NICD batteries but operate over a wider temperature range with higher energy densities. They require a protective circuit to limit peak voltage. The battery pack of a laptop computer, for each lithium-ion cell, will contain a temperature sensor, a voltage regulator circuit, a voltage tap, a charge state monitor, a mains connector. These components monitor the charge state and current flow, record the latest, full charge capacity, monitor the temperature. Their design will minimize the risk of short circuits. Topic. Shapes Li-ion cells as distinct from entire batteries are available in various shapes, which can generally be divided into four groups 
small cylindrical solid body without terminals, such as those used in older laptop batteries, large cylindrical solid body with large threaded terminals, flat or pouch soft, flat body, such as those used in cell phones and newer laptops, these are lithium-ion polymer batteries. Rigid plastic case with large threaded terminals such as vehicles traction packs cells with a cylindrical shape are made in a characteristic Swiss roll manner known as a jelly roll in the US, which means it is a single long sandwich of positive electrode, separator, negative electrode and separator rolled into a single spool. The main disadvantage of this method of construction is that the cell will have a higher series inductance. The absence of a case gives pouch cells the highest gravimetric energy density, however, for many practical applications they still require an external means of containment to prevent expansion when their state of charge SOC level is high, and for general structural stability of the battery pack of which they are part. Both rigid plastic and pouch style cells are sometimes referred to as prismatic cells due to their rectangular shapes. Since 2011, several research groups have announced demonstrations of lithium-ion flow batteries that suspend the cathode or anode material in an aqueous or organic solution. In 2014, Panasonic created the smallest Li-ion battery. It is pin-shaped. It has a diameter of 3.5 mm and a weight of 0.6 grams. A coin cell form factor resembling that of ordinary lithium batteries is available since as early as 2006 for LiQ2 cells, usually designated with a LIR prefix. Topic: Electrochemistry. The reactants in the electrochemical reactions in a lithium-ion battery are the negative and positive electrodes and the electrolyte providing a conductive medium for lithium ions to move between the electrodes. Electrical energy flows out from or into the battery when electrons flow through an external circuit during discharge or charge, respectively. Both electrodes allow lithium ions to move in and out of their structures with a process called insertion intercalation or extraction deintercalation, respectively. As the lithium ions rock back and forth between the two electrodes, these batteries are also known as rocking chair batteries or swing batteries, a term given by some European industries. During discharge, the positive lithium ions move from the negative electrode anode, usually graphite equals C six display style C E C six as below to the positive electrode cathode forming a lithium compound through the electrolyte while the electrons flow through the external circuit in the same direction. When the cell is charging, the reverse occurs with the lithium ions and electrons move back into the negative electrode in a net higher energy state. The following equations exemplify the chemistry. The positive electrode cathode half reaction in the lithium doped cobalt oxide substrate is the negative electrode anode half reaction for the graphite is the full reaction left to right discharging right to left charging being the overall reaction has its limits Overdischarging supersaturates lithium cobalt oxide, leading to the production of lithium oxide, possibly by the following irreversible reaction. Li plus plus E minus plus Liku two Li two O plus Ku Display style C E Li plus plus E carrot plus Liku two to lithium oxide plus Ku Overcharging up to five 2 volts leads to the synthesis of cobalt IV oxide, as evidenced by X-ray diffraction. In a lithium-ion battery the lithium ions are transported to and from the positive or negative electrodes by oxidizing the transition metal, cobalt Co, in Li 1x Ku2 from Co3 plus to Co4 plus during charge, and reducing from Co4 plus to Co3 plus during discharge. The cobalt electrode reaction is only reversible for X. Topic. Electrolytes 
The cell voltages given in the electrochemistry section are larger than the potential at which aqueous solutions will electrolyze. Topic: <laughs> Liquid electrolytes. Liquid electrolytes in lithium ion batteries consist of lithium salts such as LiPF6, LiBF4 or lithium hypochlorite in an organic solvent such as ethylene carbonate, dimethyl carbonate and diethyl carbonate. A liquid electrolyte acts as a conductive pathway for the movement of cations passing from the negative to the positive electrodes during discharge. Typical conductivities of liquid electrolyte at room temperature 20 degrees Celsius 68 degrees Fahrenheit are in the range of 10 mSm per centimeter, increasing by approximately 30 to 40 percent at 40 degrees Celsius 104 degrees Fahrenheit and decreasing slightly at 0 degrees Celsius 32 degrees Fahrenheit. The combination of linear and cyclic carbonates e.g., ethylene carbonate EC and dimethyl carbonate DMC offers high conductivity and solid electrolyte interface say, forming ability. Organic solvents easily decompose on the negative electrodes during charge. When appropriate organic solvents are used as the electrolyte, the solvent decomposes on initial charging and forms a solid layer called the solid electrolyte interface, which is electrically insulating yet provides significant ionic conductivity. The interface prevents further decomposition of the electrolyte after the second charge. For example, ethylene carbonate is decomposed at a relatively high voltage, 0.7 volts versus lithium, and forms a dense and stable interface. It has been demonstrated that it is possible to form say in water-based batteries. Aqueous electrolytes with a very high concentration of a specific lithium salt form a thin, protective layer of film on the anode electrode, which was previously thought to only occur in non aqueous electrolytes. Composite electrolytes based on PO poly oxyethylene provide a relatively stable interface. It can be either solid high molecular weight and be applied in dry Li polymer cells, or liquid low molecular weight and be applied in regular Li ion cells. Room temperature ionic liquids RTILs, are another approach to limiting the flammability and volatility of organic electrolytes. Topic. Solid electrolytes Recent advances in battery technology involve using a solid as the electrolyte material. The most promising of these are ceramics. Solid ceramic electrolytes are mostly lithium metal oxides which allow lithium ion transport through the solid more readily due to the intrinsic lithium. The main benefit of solid electrolytes is that there is no risk of leaks, which is a serious safety issue for batteries with liquid electrolytes. Solid ceramic electrolytes can be further broken down into two main categories, ceramic and glassy. Ceramic solid electrolytes are highly ordered compounds with crystal structures that usually have ion transport channels. Common ceramic electrolytes are lithium super ion conductors LISICON and perovskites. Glassy solid electrolytes are amorphous atomic structures made up of similar elements to ceramic solid electrolytes, but have higher conductivities overall due to higher conductivity at grain boundaries. Both glassy and ceramic electrolytes can be made more ionically conductive by substituting sulfur for oxygen. The larger radius of sulfur and its higher ability to be polarized allow for higher conductivity of lithium. This contributes to conductivities of solid electrolytes are nearing parity with their liquid counterparts, with most on the order of 0.1 mSm per centimeter and the best at 10 mSm per centimeter. Topic. Charge and discharge During discharge, lithium ions Li plus carry the current within the battery from the negative to the positive electrode, through the non-aqueous electrolyte and separator diaphragm. During charging, an external electrical power source the charging circuit applies an over-voltage a higher voltage than the battery produces, of the same polarity, forcing a charging current to flow within the battery from the positive to the negative electrode, i.e. in the reverse direction of a discharge current under normal conditions. 
the lithium ions then migrate from the positive to the negative electrode, where they become embedded in the porous electrode material in a process known as intercalation. Energy losses arising from electrical contact resistance at interfaces between electrode layers and at contacts with current collectors can be as high as 20% of the entire energy flow of batteries under typical operating conditions. Topic. Procedure The charging procedures for single Li-ion cells, and complete Li-ion batteries, are slightly different. A single Li-ion cell is charged in two stages, constant current CC, constant voltage CV, a Li-ion battery a set of Li-ion cells in series is charged in three stages, constant current balance not required once a battery is balanced constant voltage during the constant current phase the charger applies a constant current to the battery at a steadily increasing voltage until the voltage limit per cell is reached during the balance phase the charger reduces the charging current or cycles the charging on and off to reduce the average current while the state of charge of individual cells is brought to the same level by a balancing circuit until the battery is balanced some fast chargers skip this stage. Some chargers accomplish the balance by charging each cell independently. During the constant voltage phase, the charger applies a voltage equal to the maximum cell voltage times the number of cells in series to the battery, as the current gradually declines towards zero, until the current is below a set threshold of about 3% of initial constant charge current. Periodic topping charge about once per 500 hours. Top charging is recommended to be initiated when voltage goes below 4.05 volts, cell. Failure to follow current and voltage limitations can result in an explosion. Topic. Extreme temperatures Charging temperature limits for Li-ion are stricter than the operating limits. Lithium ion chemistry performs well at elevated temperatures but prolonged exposure to heat reduces battery life. Li ion batteries offer good charging performance at cooler temperatures and may even allow fast charging within a temperature range of 5 to 45 degrees Celsius, 41 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Charging should be performed within this temperature range. At temperatures from 0 to 5 degrees Celsius charging is possible, but the charge current should be reduced. During a low temperature charge the slight temperature rise above ambient due to the internal cell resistance is beneficial. High temperatures during charging may lead to battery degradation and charging at temperatures above 45 degrees Celsius will degrade battery performance, whereas at lower temperatures the internal resistance of the battery may increase, resulting in slower charging and thus longer charging times. Consumer grade lithium ion batteries should not be charged at temperatures below 0 degrees Celsius. 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Although a battery pack may appear to be charging normally, electroplating of metallic lithium can occur at the negative electrode during a subfreezing charge, and may not be removable even by repeated cycling. Most devices equipped with Li-ion batteries do not allow charging outside of 0 to 45 degrees Celsius for safety reasons, except for mobile phones that may allow some degree of charging when they detect an emergency call in progress. Topic. Performance Specific energy density, 100 to 250 watt-hours per kilogram 360 to 900 kilojoules per kilogram Volumetric energy density, 250 to 620 watt-hours per liter 900 to 2230 J per cc Specific power density, 300 to 1500 with kilogram at 20 seconds and 285 watt hours per liter because lithium ion batteries can have a variety of positive and negative electrode materials, the energy density and voltage vary accordingly. The open circuit voltage is higher than aqueous batteries such as lead acid, nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium. Internal resistance increases with both cycling and age. 
Rising internal resistance causes the voltage at the terminals to drop under load, which reduces the maximum current draw. Eventually, increasing resistance will leave the battery in a state such that it can no longer support the normal discharge currents requested of it without unacceptable voltage drop or overheating. Batteries with a lithium iron phosphate positive and graphite negative electrodes have a nominal open circuit voltage of 3.2 volts and a typical charging voltage of 3.6 V lithium nickel manganese cobalt NMC oxide positives with graphite negatives have a 3.7 volts nominal voltage with a 4.2 volts maximum while charging. The charging procedure is performed at constant voltage with current limiting circuitry i.e., charging with constant current until a voltage of 4.2 volts is reached in the cell and continuing with a constant voltage applied until the current drops close to zero. Typically, the charge is terminated at 3% of the initial charge current. In the past, lithium-ion batteries could not be fast charged and needed at least two hours to fully charge. Current generation cells can be fully charged in 45 minutes or less. In 2015 researchers demonstrated a small 600 mAh capacity battery charged to 68% capacity in 2 minutes and a 3000 mAh battery charged to 48% capacity in 5 minutes. The latter battery has an energy density of 620 Wh per liter. The device employed heteroatoms bonded to graphite molecules in the anode. Performance of manufactured batteries has improved over time. For example, from 1991 to 2005, the energy capacity per price of lithium ion batteries improved more than tenfold, from 0.3 watt hours per dollar to over 3 watt hours per dollar. In the period from 2011 to 2017, progress has averaged 7.5% annually. Topic. Materials The increasing demand for batteries has led vendors and academics to focus on improving the energy density, operating temperature, safety, durability, charging time, output power, and cost of lithium-ion battery technology. The following materials have been used in commercially available cells. Research into other materials continues. Cathode materials are generally constructed out of two general materials, LiQu2 and Lim2O4. The cobalt-based material develops a pseudo-tetrahedral structure that allows for two-dimensional lithium-ion diffusion. The cobalt-based cathodes are ideal due to their high theoretical specific heat capacity, high volumetric capacity, low self-discharge, high discharge voltage, and good cycling performance. Limitations include the high cost of the material, and low thermal stability. The manganese-based materials adopt a cubic crystal lattice system, which allows for three-dimensional lithium-ion diffusion. Manganese cathodes are attractive because manganese is cheaper and because it could theoretically be used to make a more efficient, longer-lasting battery if its limitations could be overcome. Limitations include the tendency for manganese to dissolve into the electrolyte during cycling leading to poor cycling stability for the cathode. Cobalt-based cathodes are the most common, however other materials are being researched with the goal of lowering costs and improving battery life. As of 2017, LifeBio4 is a candidate for large-scale production of lithium-ion batteries such as electric vehicle applications due to its low cost, excellent safety, and high cycle durability. For example, Sony Fortelian batteries have retained 74% of their capacity after 8,000 cycles with 100% discharge. A carbon conductive agent is required to overcome its low electrical conductivity. Electrolyte alternatives have also played a significant role, for example the lithium polymer battery. Topic. Positive electrode. Topic. Negative electrode Negative electrode materials are traditionally constructed from graphite and other carbon materials, although newer silicon-based materials are being increasingly used see nanowire battery. 
These materials are used because they are abundant and are electrically conducting and can intercalate lithium ions to store electrical charge with modest volume expansion CA, 10%. The reason that graphite is the dominant material is because of its low voltage and excellent performance. Various materials have been introduced but their voltage is high leading to a low energy density. Low voltage of material is the key requirement, otherwise, the excess capacity is useless in terms of energy density. Topic. Anode research. The extensive 2007 review article by Casavajula et al. summarizes early research on silicon-based anodes for lithium-ion secondary cells. In particular, Hong Li et al. showed in 2000 that the electrochemical insertion of lithium ions in silicon nanoparticles and silicon nanowires leads to the formation of an amorphous Li-C alloy. The same year, Bo Gao and his doctoral advisor, Professor Otto Zhou described the cycling of electrochemical cells with anodes comprising silicon nanowires, with a reversible capacity ranging from at least approximately 900 to 1,500 mAh per gram. To improve stability of the lithium anode, several approaches of installing a protective layer have been suggested. Silicon is beginning to be looked at as an anode material because it can accommodate significantly more lithium ions, storing up to 10 times the electric charge, however this alloying between lithium and silicon results in significant volume expansion ca. 400%, which causes catastrophic failure for the battery. Silicon has been used as an anode material but the insertion and extraction of Li plus Display style CE script style Li plus can create cracks in the material. These cracks expose the C surface to an electrolyte, causing decomposition and the formation of a solid electrolyte interface say, on the new C surface crumpled graphene encapsulated C nanoparticles. This say will continue to grow thicker, deplete the available Li plus display style CE script style Li plus and degrade the capacity and cycling stability of the anode there have been attempts using various C nanostructures that include nanowires nanotubes hollow spheres nanoparticles and nanoporous with the goal of them withstanding the Li plus display style CE script style Li plus insertion removal without significant cracking Yet the formation of say on C still occurs. So a coating would be logical, in order to account for any increase in the volume of the C, a tight surface coating is not viable. In 2012 researchers from Northwestern University created an approach to encapsulate C nanoparticles using crumpled argo, graphene oxide. This method allows for protection of the C nanoparticles from the electrolyte as well as allow for the expansion of C without expansion due to the wrinkles and creases in the graphene balls. These capsules began as an aqueous dispersion of GO and C particles, and are then nebulized into a mist of droplets that pass through a tube furnace. As they pass through the liquid evaporates, the GO sheets are pulled into a crumpled ball by capillary forces and encapsulate C particles with them. There is a galvanostatic charge, discharge profile of 0. 0.05 ma cm 2 display style ce script style milliampere per centimeter caret 2 to 1 ma cm 2 display style ce script style milliampere per centimeter caret 2 for current densities 0.2 to 4 a per gram, delivering 1,200 milliamp hours per gram at 0.2 a per gram, polymer electrolytes are promising for minimizing the dendrite formation of lithium. Polymers are supposed to prevent short circuits and maintain conductivity. Topic: Diffusion. The ions in the electrolyte diffuse because there are small changes in the electrolyte concentration. Linear diffusion is only considered here. The change in concentration, C, as a function of time t and distance x, is 
C T equals minus D epsilon two C X two Display style frac partial c partial t equals frac d var epsilon frac partial caret two c partial x caret two. The negative sign indicates the ions are flowing from high concentration to low concentration. In this equation, d is the diffusion coefficient for the lithium ion. It has a value of 7.5 times 10 minus 10 square meters per second in the LiPF6 electrolyte. The value for epsilon, the porosity of the electrolyte, is 0 0.724. Topic. Use Li-ion batteries provide lightweight, high-energy density power sources for a variety of devices. To power larger devices, such as electric cars, connecting many small batteries in a parallel circuit is more effective and more efficient than connecting a single large battery. Such devices include Portable devices, these include mobile phones and smartphones, laptops and tablets, digital cameras and camcorders, electronic cigarettes, handheld game consoles and torches flashlights. Power tools, Li-ion batteries are used in tools such as cordless drills, sanders, saws, and a variety of garden equipment including whipper snippers and hedge trimmers. Electric vehicles, electric vehicle batteries are used in electric cars, hybrid vehicles, electric motorcycles and scooters, electric bicycles, personal transporters and advanced electric wheelchairs. Also radio-controlled models, model aircraft, aircraft, and the Mars Curiosity rover, Li-ion batteries are used in telecommunications applications. Secondary non-aqueous lithium batteries provide reliable backup power to load equipment located in a network environment of a typical telecommunications service provider. Li-ion batteries compliant with specific technical criteria are recommended for deployment in the outside plant OSP at locations such as controlled environmental vaults CEVs, electronic equipment enclosures EEEs, and huts, and in uncontrolled structures such as cabinets. In such applications, Li-ion battery users require detailed, battery-specific hazardous material information, plus appropriate fire-fighting procedures, to meet regulatory requirements and to protect employees and surrounding equipment. Self-discharge Batteries gradually self-discharge even if not connected and delivering current. Li plus rechargeable batteries have a self-discharge rate typically stated by manufacturers to be 1.5 to 2% per month. The rate increases with temperature and state of charge. A 2004 study found that for most cycling conditions self-discharge was primarily time-dependent, however, after several months of stand on open circuit or float charge, state of charge dependent losses became significant. The self-discharge rate did not increase monotonically with state of charge, but dropped somewhat at intermediate states of charge. Self-discharge rates may increase as batteries age. In 1999, self-discharge per month was measured at 8% at 21 degrees Celsius, 15% at 40 degrees Celsius, 31% at 60 degrees Celsius. By 2007, monthly self-discharge rate was estimated at 2% to 3%, and 2 to 3% by 2016. By comparison, the self-discharge rate for metal hydride (NiMH) batteries dropped, as of 2017, from up to 30% per month for previously common cells to about 0.08% to 0.33% per month for low self-discharge NiMH batteries, and as about 10% per month in nickel-cadmium batteries. Topic. Battery life Life of a lithium-ion battery is typically defined as the number of full charge-discharge cycles to reach a failure threshold in terms of capacity loss or impedance rise. Manufacturer's datasheet typically uses the word cycle life 
To specify lifespan in terms of the number of cycles to reach 80% of the rated battery capacity. An active storage of these batteries also reduces their capacity. Calendar life is used to represent the whole life cycle of battery involving both the cycle and inactive storage operations. Battery cycle life is affected by many different stress factors including temperature, discharge current, charge current, and state of charge ranges depth of discharge. Batteries are not fully charged and discharged in real applications such as smartphones, laptops and electric cars and hence defining battery life via full discharge cycles can be misleading. To avoid this confusion, researchers sometimes use cumulative discharge defined as which total amount of charge ah, delivered by the battery during its entire life or equivalent full cycles, which represents the summation of the partial cycles as a fractions of a full charge discharge cycle. Battery degradation during the storage is affected by temperature and battery state of charge SOC and a combination of full charge 100% SOC and high temperature usually greater than 50 degrees Celsius can result in sharp capacity drop and gas generation multiplying the battery cumulative discharge in AW by the rated nominal voltage gives the total energy delivered over the life of the battery from this one can calculate the cost per kilowatt hour of the energy including the cost of charging. Topic: Variability A 2015 study by Andreas Gutsch of the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology found that lithium-ion battery lifespan could vary by a factor of 5, with some Li-ion cells losing 30% of their capacity after 1,000 cycles, and others having better capacity after 5,000 cycles. The study also found that safety standards for some batteries were not met. For stationary energy storage it was estimated that batteries with lifespans of at least 3,000 cycles were needed for profitable operation. Topic. Degradation Over their lifespan batteries degrade gradually leading to reduced capacity due to the chemical and mechanical changes to the electrodes. Batteries are multi-physics electrochemical systems and degrade through a variety of concurrent chemical, mechanical, electrical and thermal failure mechanisms. Some of the prominent mechanisms include solid electrolyte interface layer say, growth, lithium plating, mechanical cracking of say layer and electrode particles, and thermal decomposition of electrolyte. Degradation is strongly temperature dependent, with a minimal degradation around 25 degrees Celsius, i.e., increasing if stored or used at above or below 25 degrees Celsius. High charge levels and elevated temperatures whether from charging or ambient air hasten capacity loss. Carbon anodes generate heat when in use. Batteries may be refrigerated to reduce temperature effects. Pouch and cylindrical cell temperatures depend linearly on the discharge current. Poor internal ventilation may increase temperatures. Loss rates vary by temperature, 6% loss at 0 degrees Celsius 32 degrees Fahrenheit, 20% at 25 degrees Celsius 77 degrees Fahrenheit, and 35% at 40 degrees Celsius 104 degrees Fahrenheit. In contrast, the calendar life of LifePO4 cells is not affected by high charge states. The advent of the SE layer improved performance, but increased vulnerability to thermal degradation. The layer is composed of electrolyte, carbonate reduction products that serve both as an ionic conductor and electronic insulator. It forms on both the anode and cathode and determines many performance parameters. Under typical conditions, such as room temperature and the absence of charge effects and contaminants, the layer reaches a fixed thickness after the first charge, allowing the device to operate for years. However, operation outside such parameters can degrade the device via several reactions. Lithium ion batteries are prone to capacity fading over thousands of cycles. It is by slow electrochemical processes, the formation of a solid electrolyte interface say, in the negative electrode. SE forms in between the first charge and discharge and results in the consumption of lithium ions. The consumption of lithium ions reduces the charge and discharge efficiency of the electrode material. 
However, say film is organic solvent insoluble and hence it can be stable in organic electrolyte solutions. If proper additives are added to the electrolyte to promote say formation, the co-embedding of solvent molecules can be effectively prevented and the damage to electrode materials can be avoided. On the other hand, say is selective and allows lithium ions to pass through and forbids electrons to pass through. This guarantees the continuity of charging and discharging cycle. Say hinders the further consumption of lithium ions and thus greatly improves the electrode, as well as the cycle performance and service life. Topic. Reactions Five common exothermic degradation reactions can occur. Chemical reduction of the electrolyte by the anode. Thermal decomposition of the electrolyte. Chemical oxidation of the electrolyte by the cathode. Thermal decomposition by the cathode and anode. Internal short circuit by charge effects. Topic. Anode. The Se layer that forms on the anode is a mixture of lithium oxide, lithium fluoride and semicarbonates e.g., lithium alkyl carbonates. At elevated temperatures, alkyl carbonates in the electrolyte decompose into insoluble lithium carbonate that increases film thickness, limiting anode efficiency. This increases cell impedance and reduces capacity. Gases formed by electrolyte decomposition can increase the cell's internal pressure and are a potential safety issue in demanding environments such as mobile devices. Below 25 degrees Celsius, plating of metallic lithium on the anodes and subsequent reaction with the electrolyte is leading to loss of cyclable lithium. Extended storage can trigger an incremental increase in film thickness and capacity loss. Charging at greater than 4.2 volts can initiate Li plus plating on the anode, producing irreversible capacity loss. The randomness of the metallic lithium embedded in the anode during intercalation results in dendrites formation. Over time the dendrites can accumulate and pierce the separator, causing a short circuit leading to heat, fire or explosion. This process is referred to as thermal runaway. Discharging beyond 2 volts can also result in capacity loss. The copper anode current collector can dissolve into the electrolyte. When charged, copper ions can reduce on the anode as metallic copper. Over time, copper dendrites can form and cause a short in the same manner as lithium. High cycling rates and state of charge induces mechanical strain on the anode's graphite lattice. Mechanical strain caused by intercalation and deintercalation creates fissures and splits of the graphite particles, changing their orientation. This orientation change results in capacity loss. Topic. Electrolytes Electrolyte degradation mechanisms include hydrolysis and thermal decomposition. At concentrations as low as 10 ppm, water begins catalyzing a host of degradation products that can affect the electrolyte, anode, and cathode. LiPF6 participates in an equilibrium reaction with LEAF and PF5. Under typical conditions, the equilibrium lies far to the left. However the presence of water generates substantial leaf, an insoluble, electrically insulating product. Leaf binds to the anode surface, increasing film thickness. LiPF6 hydrolysis yields PF5, a strong Lewis acid that reacts with electron-rich species, such as water. PF5 reacts with water to form hydrofluoric acid HF, and phosphorus oxyfluoride. Phosphorus oxyfluoride in turn reacts to form additional HF and difluorohydroxyphosphoric acid. HF converts the rigid Se film into a fragile one. On the cathode, the carbonate solvent can then diffuse onto the cathode oxide over time, releasing heat and thermal runaway. Decomposition of electrolyte salts and interactions between the salts and solvents start at as low as 70 C. Significant decomposition occurs at higher temperatures. At 85 C transesterification products, such as dimethyl 2, 5 dioxyhexane carboxylate, DMDOHC, are formed from EC reacting with DMC. Topic. Cathode 
Cathode degradation mechanisms include manganese dissolution, electrolyte oxidation, and structural disorder. In lithium permanganate, hydrofluoric acid catalyzes the loss of metallic manganese through disproportionation of trivalent manganese. 2MN3 plus MN2 plus plus MN4 plus material loss of the spinel results in capacity fade. Temperatures as low as 50 degrees Celsius initiate MN2 plus deposition on the anode as metallic manganese with the same effects as lithium and copper plating. Cycling over the theoretical max and min voltage plateaus destroys the crystal lattice via Jan Teller distortion, which occurs when MN4 plus is reduced to MN3 plus during discharge. Storage of a battery charged to greater than 3.6 volts initiates electrolyte oxidation by the cathode and induces SE layer formation on the cathode. As with the anode, excessive SE formation forms an insulator resulting in capacity fade and uneven current distribution. Storage at less than 2 volts results in the slow degradation of LiQ2 and LIM2O4 cathodes, the release of oxygen and irreversible capacity loss. Topic: Conditioning. The need to condition NICD and NIMH batteries has leaked into folklore surrounding Li-ion batteries, but is unfounded. The recommendation for the older technologies is to leave the device plugged in for 7 or 8 hours, even if fully charged. This may be a confusion of battery software calibration instructions with the conditioning instructions for NICD and NIMH batteries. Topic. Multicell devices Li-ion batteries require a battery management system to prevent operation outside each cell's safe operating area max charge, min charge, safe temperature range and to balance cells to eliminate state of charge mismatches. This significantly improves battery efficiency and increases capacity. As the number of cells and load currents increase, the potential for mismatch increases. The two kinds of mismatch are state of charge SOC and capacity, energy. C, e. Though SOC is more common, each problem limits pack charge capacity Ma H to that of the weakest cell. <laughs> Topic. Safety. Lithium-ion batteries can be a safety hazard since they contain a flammable electrolyte and may become pressurized if they become damaged. A battery cell charged too quickly could cause a short circuit, leading to explosions and fires. Because of these risks, testing standards are more stringent than those for acid electrolyte batteries, requiring both a broader range of test conditions and additional battery-specific tests, and there are shipping limitations imposed by safety regulators. There have been battery-related recalls by some companies, including the 2016 Samsung Galaxy Note 7 recall for battery fires. Another problem can occur if a lithium-ion battery is damaged or crushed, or if a battery without overcharge protection is subjected to a higher electrical load than it can safely handle. Additionally, an external short circuit can trigger the batteries to explode. If overheated or overcharged, Li-ion batteries may suffer thermal runaway and cell rupture. In extreme cases this can lead to leakage, explosion or fire. To reduce these risks, many lithium-ion cells and battery packs contain fail-safe circuitry that disconnects the battery when its voltage is outside the safe range of 3 to 4.2 volts per cell, or when overcharged or discharged. Lithium battery packs, whether constructed by a vendor or the end-user, without effective battery management circuits are susceptible to these issues. Poorly designed or implemented battery management circuits also may cause problems. It is difficult to be certain that any particular battery management circuitry is properly implemented. Lithium ion cells are susceptible to damage outside the allowed voltage range that is typically 2.5 to 3.65, 4.1, 4.2, or 4.35 volts, depending on the chemistry used and design of the cell. Exceeding this voltage range results in premature aging of the cells and, furthermore, results in safety risks due to the reactive components in the cells. 
When stored for long periods the small current draw of the protection circuitry may drain the battery below its shut-off voltage, normal chargers may then be useless since the BMS may retain a record of this battery or charger failure. Many types of lithium-ion cells cannot be charged safely below 0 degrees Celsius, other safety features are required in each cell. Shut-down separator for overheating. Tear-away tab for internal pressure relief. Vent pressure relief in case of severe outgassing. Thermal interrupt overcurrent, overcharging, environmental exposure. These features are required because the negative electrode produces heat during use, while the positive electrode may produce oxygen. However, these additional devices occupy space inside the cells, add points of failure, and may irreversibly disable the cell when activated. Further, these features increase costs compared to nickel-metal hydride batteries, which require only a hydrogen-oxygen recombination device and a backup pressure valve. Contaminants inside the cells can defeat these safety devices. Also, these features can not be applied to all kinds of cells, e.g. prismatic high-current cells cannot be equipped with a vent or thermal interrupt. High current cells must not produce excessive heat or oxygen, lest there be a failure, possibly violent. Instead, they must be equipped with internal thermal fuses which act before the anode and cathode reach their thermal limits. Short circuiting a battery will cause the cell to overheat and possibly to catch fire. Adjacent cells may then overheat and fail, possibly causing the entire battery to ignite or rupture. In the event of a fire, the device may emit dense irritating smoke. The fire energy content electrical plus chemical of cobalt oxide cells is about 100 to 150 kilojoules, AH, most of it chemical, replacing the lithium cobalt oxide positive electrode material in lithium ion batteries with a lithium metal phosphate such as lithium iron phosphate LFP improves cycle counts, shelf life and safety, but lowers capacity. As of 2006 these safer lithium-ion batteries were mainly used in electric cars and other large capacity battery applications, where safety is critical. Lithium-ion batteries, unlike rechargeable batteries with water-based electrolytes, have a potentially hazardous pressurized flammable liquid electrolyte, and require strict quality control during manufacture. A faulty battery can cause a serious fire. Faulty chargers can affect the safety of the battery because they can destroy the battery's protection circuit. While charging at temperatures below 0 degrees Celsius, the negative electrode of the cells gets plated with pure lithium, which can compromise the safety of the whole pack. While fire is often serious, it may be catastrophically so. In about 2010 large lithium-ion batteries were introduced in place of other chemistries to power systems on some aircraft. As of January 2014 there had been at least four serious lithium-ion battery fires, or smoke, on the Boeing 787 passenger aircraft, introduced in 2011, which did not cause crashes but had the potential to do so. In addition, several aircraft crashes have been attributed to burning Li-ion batteries. UPS Airlines Flight 6 crashed in Dubai after its payload of batteries spontaneously ignited, progressively destroying critical systems inside the aircraft which eventually rendered it uncontrollable. Topic. Recalls In October 2004 Kyocera Wireless recalled approximately 1 million mobile phone batteries to identify counterfeits. In December 2005 Dell recalled approximately 22,000 laptop computer batteries, and 4.1 million in August 2006. In 2006 approximately 10 million Sony batteries used in Dell, Sony, Apple, Lenovo, Panasonic, Toshiba, Hitachi, Fujitsu and Sharp laptops were recalled. The batteries were found to be susceptible to internal contamination by metal particles during manufacture. Under some circumstances, these particles could pierce the separator, causing a dangerous short circuit. In March 2007 computer manufacturer Lenovo recalled approximately 205,000 batteries at risk of explosion. In August 2007 mobile phone manufacturer Nokia recalled over 46 million batteries at risk of overheating and exploding. 
One such incident occurred in the Philippines involving a Nokia N91, which used the BL5C battery. In September 2016 Samsung recalled approximately 2.5 million Galaxy Note 7 phones after 35 confirmed fires. The recall was due to a manufacturing design fault in Samsung's batteries which caused internal positive and negative poles to touch. Topic. Transport restrictions IATA estimates that over a billion lithium cells are flown each year, the maximum size of each battery whether installed in a device or as spare batteries that can be carried as one that has an equivalent lithium content ELC not exceeding 8 grams per battery. Except, that if only one or two batteries are carried, each may have an ELC of up to 25 grams. The ELC for any battery is found by multiplying the ampere-hour capacity of each cell by 0.3 and then multiplying the result by the number of cells in the battery. The resultant calculated lithium content is not the actual lithium content but a theoretical figure solely for transportation purposes. When shipping lithium-ion batteries however, if the total lithium content in the cell exceeds 1.5 grams, the package must be marked as Class 9 Miscellaneous Hazardous Material Although devices containing lithium-ion batteries may be transported in checked baggage, spare batteries may be only transported in carry-on baggage. They must be protected against short-circuiting, and example tips are provided in the transport regulations on safe packaging and carriage, e.g., such batteries should be in their original protective packaging or by taping over the exposed terminals or placing each battery in a separate plastic bag or protective pouch. These restrictions do not apply to a lithium-ion battery that is a part of a wheelchair or mobility aid including any spare batteries to which a separate set of rules and regulations apply. Some postal administrations restrict air shipping including EMS of lithium and lithium-ion batteries, either separately or installed in equipment. Such restrictions apply in Hong Kong, Australia and Japan. Other postal administrations, such as the United Kingdom's Royal Mail may permit limited carriage of batteries or cells that are operative but totally prohibit handling of known defective ones, which is likely to prove of significance to those discovering faulty such items bought through mail-order channels. IATA provides details in its lithium battery guidance document. On 16 May 2012, the United States Postal Service USPS banned shipping anything containing a lithium battery to an overseas address, after fires from transport of batteries. This restriction made it difficult to send anything containing lithium batteries to military personnel overseas, as the USPS was the only method of shipment to these addresses. The ban was lifted on 15 November 2012. United Airlines and Delta Airlines excluded lithium-ion batteries in 2015 after an FAA report on chain reactions. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner uses large lithium cobalt oxide batteries, which are more reactive than newer types of batteries such as LifePO4. Starting on the 15th of January 2018, several major US airlines banned smart luggage with non-removable batteries from being checked in to travel in the cargo hold due to the risk of fire. Some airlines continued to mistakenly prevent passengers from bringing smart luggage as a carry on after the ban went into effect. Several smart luggage companies have been forced to shut down as a result of the ban. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Environmental impact and recycling. Since Li-ion batteries contain less toxic metals than other types of batteries which may contain lead or cadmium, they are generally categorized as non-hazardous waste. Li-ion battery elements including iron, copper, nickel and cobalt are considered safe for incinerators and landfills. These metals can be recycled, but mining generally remains cheaper than recycling. In the past, not much was invested into recycling Li-ion batteries due to cost, complexity and low yield. Since 2018 the recycling yield was increased significantly, and the recovering of lithium, manganese, aluminum, the organic solvents of the electrolyte and graphite is possible at industrial scales. 
The most expensive metal involved in the construction of the cell is cobalt, much of which is mined in Congo see also Mining Industry of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Lithium iron phosphate is cheaper but has other drawbacks. Lithium is less expensive than other metals used, but recycling could prevent a future shortage. The manufacturing processes of nickel and cobalt, and the solvent, present potential environmental and health hazards. The extraction of lithium may have an impact on the environment due to water pollution. Lithium mining takes place in selected mines in North and South America, Asia, South Africa, Central Andes and China. Manufacturing a kilogram of Li-ion battery takes about 67 megajoule MJ of energy. The global warming potential of lithium-ion batteries manufacturing strongly depends on the energy source used in mining and manufacturing operations. Various estimates range from 62 to 140 kg CO2 equivalents per kWh. Effective recycling can reduce the carbon footprint of the production significantly. Topic. Research Researchers are actively working to improve the power density, safety, cycle durability, battery life, recharge time, cost, flexibility, and other characteristics, as well as research methods and uses, of these batteries. See also